man i've been working so much i forgot what it was like dealing with the real world <laughs> i'm so aggravated so aggravated dang i wanted to uh, take a picture you know i was bragging about sam's and it seems like there's a little advantage but you know i guess inflation and all's kind of got you know when everybody the pandemic and how everybody kind of the love of everybody got to grow cold it's kind of getting that way again you know people just survival mode so it's like a bunch of tigers out there you know so i went to sam's took a picture of the gas price and i said well, you know that looks pretty good it's 411 but then circle k if you put money on a card it's 405 but without the card it's 415 so they're still beating sounds by 11 cents with regular gas now premium might be more expensive but i i parked by the pump that said you know no fuel had the little yellow bag over the fuel pump so i wasn't in nobody's way i get out of my truck to take a picture to sign i'm not pointing my camera at anybody and this old guy next to me in the other pump on the other side said hey don't take my picture I said, don't worry, sir, I'm not gonna do that. And I'm thinking to myself, why would I want you in my video when I'm talking about gas prices? But I, I think he was just an old guy, you know, that had a, a comment or he was scared that, you know, he was gonna be spotted somewhere he shouldn't have, who knows? Or maybe he just liked his privacy guarded. I understand, but I'm not gonna video you if I'm, you know, without permission. Anyway, most time. So I said, I'm not going to take a picture of you, sir. So that kind of aggravated me. Sam's Club, my son got a little membership, the Advantage Plus. So you're supposed to save money. The gas price isn't cheaper. I went in there for my tires. You know, I talked about going to do my get my tire patch because it still says to check air sensor. You know, so, but it's not really going down. But he said, well, you know, some of those air sensors are only good for like eight, ten years. And it's a 2008, so a couple more years it'll be an antique. I think 2023 it'll be an antique. So everybody's wanting to hit my truck. You know, I got a big old dent in my driver's side and my bumper. So just a little stuff. I'm starting, trying to be cheerful. But then he told me, well, your tires are over 10 years old. So we don't, we can't patch your tires for free. We can't even touch them if they're over 10 years old because we can't guarantee the patch. So he wouldn't fix my air leak that supposedly I might have. So then he wanted to sell me almost a $200 tire Michelin. And uh, I got good years on here, all terrain. And then he was saying, well, you know, and he talked to me a long time, real nice guy, but they're not that busy. So then it kind of makes you think, do I need to come here? They don't really, they're not that busy. So, hmm, but anyway, the food prices are still pretty good. Aldi's, they're even beating Aldi's prices with Sam's Club. So food prices, and if I don't have any money in my checking account that's tied to the Circle K card, then it's probably still a good idea to go to Sam's and get gas because I don't have to, I can pay with a credit. And I'll lose six cents, but if I have money in the other account, then I'll save six cents, depending on what day it is. And Sam's closes early, you know, I think six or seven o'clock or eight o'clock, whenever it is. And sometime I'm not in this area on the weekends till after 11. So then I got to go to that gas station with the um, Circle K. But so far, Circle K is the best price around for me. But yeah, just aggravated. And then I wanted another pair of ridge cut pants. So I went to Tractor Supply, and if I lost, I don't know, whatever I had to lose to get to the next size down, they had two pair. But right now they don't have the size that fits me because I got to tuck my shirt in. So um, I got to order them online or either just wear them, wear that one pair all weekend till I lose some weight, and then I won't have to pay so I saved uh, $40 a day by being fluffy. <laughs> Man. And I, I I went ahead, even though I was cramping yesterday, I went ahead and got me one coffee today. And 
I got to make sure I hydrate later so I don't cramp up real bad. But yeah, everybody looking around like it's uh, the end of day. So economy ain't even got bad yet. So watch yourself. Watch all these crazy people and, you know, just uh, be careful. Pray the Lord protect you. <laughs> but yeah, it just aggravate, you know, go to store. They don't have it. Now, I know it's been going on a while. But it's um, those ridge cut. I wore them, wore one pair, and you know I took a shower. But I wore them all weekend. And I was around all kind of sharp stuff, no holes in my pants. So it's well worth the price. So I'm happy about that. So I got more happiness than I do aggravation. But it's just the aggravation, you know. You go there, and the guy's so bored, and it's a nice conversation. But the only day I got off. So he talked to me forever, and it was hard to break away. And uh, we talked about everything. Uh, towing, he had like USA insurance. So he got towing for like $11, unlimited tows. And I told him with State Farm, with the family plan, you get three tows. So if you got two cars and you know your wife, so you get three tows amongst all of you for a year or you lose the coverage. And he gets unlimited tows. And I didn't know any, I didn't know the shop they were going to tow the car to. So they towed, they towed it to where I told them to. So I don't know how much the tow is now. Um, I'm assuming 80 bucks, but they charged me a $30 surcharge. It's supposed to be covered with my towing, but because I didn't want to go to the shop that was closest to get the repair. And I wanted to go to a shop that was a few miles further away. They charged me $29 surcharge. So yeah, just a little aggravation thing that happens. You know, I'm not, some things you just get aggravated so much, you just ignore it, you know, and uh, when you're young or things really aggravate you. And what's funny, I hadn't felt aggravated in a long time because I've been hurting so bad and been moseying around and couldn't walk. I've been just trying to just get through the day. I ain't been aggravated, but Today, I'm feeling a little spunky. So, I'm like, whoa. You know, and then, and it, just common things, just little things. So, it might be just me. Maybe I'm just spunky and feeling aggravated today. Like, I went to get the coffee. So, I started walking to the bathroom, and everybody's standing in front of the, the donuts, and I couldn't walk around this way or that way. And I'm just standing, facing them, you know, with a couple feet. And they just stand there looking. And then finally they backed up. And I said, how y'all doing? Hey, we're doing good. You know, but just, that's not too, too bad, but a little bit, you know, but. And then uh, the lady put sugar in my coffee and it wasn't sweet enough. So I asked them to check sugar and they just shook it. And I mean, people are just like robots. Or maybe I'm just too awake because I had some sleep. I didn't get up like, normally I get up at uh, 4 or 3.30 in the morning, so I got up at uh, 6 something. I had to be at Sam's, then they couldn't fix my tire. But he did show me 500 something dollars for a new set, so I said, well, I gotta save my money for that. I don't have 500 something dollars right now. But yeah, just, ah! <laughs> just aggravating, man, you know, gee. Little things, little things aggravate you, you know? And then uh, it's kind of cloudy today. So you got some people that just, I guess they want to get out of the house and they're just driving like 19 miles an hour and a 35 mile an hour speed limit. And everybody's going fast on the other side so you can't pass them. Just little aggravating things. I don't know if I want to go to Tire Plus and get them to look at my tires and give me a price. I think I'll just wait. Cause I can't order, order them online. And um, it's kind of greasy at the where those good pants are. So I'm going to take some shout, scrub the little grease things, and then wash them. And, you know, job's pretty cool. So it's just dirty grabbing stuff. So you don't really, you're not really working that hard. So I could probably wear them all weekend and be all right. But, you know, no longer than that. So $40 probably get one weekend use every weekend for $40 ain't too bad. Just if I need another pair, I'll be in trouble. But um, 
yeah, sharing aggravations of a Monday. <laughs> Phew, I'm ready to go back to work. <laughs> I just work, get a break, work, get a break, then go home, eat, sleep. That sounds more fun. I'm uh, working instead of uh, going to prison and being institutionalized. I'm work workingized or whatever. <laughs> I feel better just going to work, having a routine, than getting out and about with people that, you know, ain't got no routine that are crazy like me. It's like, who you, who you, who you, you know, like uh, my son stayed over and his dog staying in my wife's room with her and we don't want the dog running through the house because it, it, it sometimes likes to chew things, but my wife's dog has been there and he's the bed dog and the other dog wants to get on the bed and try to dominate her dog and I, we got some chicken and broccoli and we had some egg rolls and two egg rolls were on the bed and the dogs both got on the bed looked at each other rah, 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 and had a little a little fight and my wife's dog was cowering down my son's dog was still attacking him and they had to break him up not bad, but just enough to let them know, you know, she's the boss. And um, she's something else. She kind of looks like a little a little deer, with little ears and tall, kind of lankly, but still like a little chihuahua. So, But she's bigger than another dog that kind of looks like a weenie dog, but he's kind of smaller than a regular weenie dog. He's like under 10 pounds, so they're probably both about 8 pounds. You know, so... Um, <laughs> little brown dog and then a little white brown dog over over egg rolls but yeah i just wanted to share that i gotta upload all this stuff so i'm i'm catching up where i haven't been able to upload because i've been so tired so i appreciate you guys waiting on me and you know it's just just aggravation i i don't know if i want to do anything else today get more aggravated but i'll probably go ahead to feed my wife but i got i got some good news she said she's going to, my birthday is July the 3rd, so I got to work. But then July the 4th, we're off. Now, where I'm, um, I'll be off all day, so I could probably sleep to about 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, maybe. You know, and then my wife's going to cook me some steaks. And I'm looking forward to that. So July the 4th, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. And my wife, my beautiful wife, I love so much gonna cook me some steaks or something you know good i hope i said you know a lot of places gonna be closed july the 4th so that'll work good you know i'll be off can relax and then get my belly full and then go to bed and wake up start to work that week you know if i do it on sunday i'll be kind of dragging because this past sunday it was rough even though i both days i went to bed about 9 30 and i got up at 3 30 so that's what six hours sleep but coming home sunday you know i was i was nodding even though i had I had a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast and a dot mountain dew one for lunch and dot mountain dew and then of course i drank it was hot so i sweated and then i drank the coffee and had cramps for like 20 minutes that wasn't no fun but i was sleepy sleepy coming home so I should have went to bed at 8.30, I think. That'd probably been better, you know. But uh, I was fighting off sinuses. Oh, and I took a, uh, took a sinus medicine too, so that I always cramp when I take those if I don't drink enough. So that's probably, that's probably what pushed me over the edge to the cramp land. But anyway, thank you for watching. Don't get aggravated, or at least laugh about it if you can get away from it watch out for the aggravation so you know and uh i'll aggravate you later <laughs> have a good one